I grew up in San Francisco Chinatown in the 1950s. We were known as the Tom family. But on our birth certificates and to outsiders, we were known as the Young family. We knew growing up that there was something wrong with having two surnames because we were always reminded by our parents that we must never, never tell our real surnames that we would get the family in trouble. I came to understand my parents were illegal immigrants. My father was the eldest of three children. His family were farmers. It was difficult making a living farming because of the political instabilities that were going on at the time. His family decided to send their oldest son to America to seek his fortune and make enough money to send home to support the family. Chinese laborers would buy identity papers by falsely claiming to be uh, a son or a daughter of a merchant or a U.S. citizen. That's why they were called paper sons, paper daughters. My father, he had two uncles already in America, and those two uncles bought papers for him saying that he was the son of Yang Dong a merchant in Stockton, California. They pay $1,900 for those papers. After a three-week journey across the ocean, he arrived at Angel Island Immigration Station in San Francisco Bay. He was detained, locked up in the dormitories for about five weeks. He said that the ordeal of the humiliating physical examination and the dreaded interrogation was a very difficult process for him. These interrogations could last for days. They prepared for this process by uh, studying coaching books that were given to them by immigration brokers. You can see it's all the questions that they were likely to be asked, the birth dates of your grandparents, who were the school teacher, but this is supposed to be my father's village, and who lived in which house, and where was the well, where were the outhouses, which direction that the ancestral temple faced. My father, he lived in the shadows of society and he was always afraid of calling attention to himself, of running into the law. Here to film your story. I'm gonna tell the whole world you were a paper son. I hope that's okay. And in English, right under his picture here, it says Young, Young being his paper surname. But in Chinese below there, Tom Yip Jing is his Chinese name. So he took his secrets to the grave. The paper sun system shut the community off from the rest of society and it slowed the process of assimilation. But the most damaging effect was the psychological wounds that it inflicted on generations of Chinese Americans that we are racial inferiors and second-class citizens. I pay tribute to them 
for having gone through all that, for having persevered, all for the sake of a better future for their children. That was their dream. That was what kept them coming to the United States.